Oxidation reduction is a type of chemical reaction that involves the transfer of electrons, one or more electrons, from one reactant to the other. Because oxidation reduction is a really big word, chemists usually shorten the term to just simply redox. So redox is just our, our shortened or abbreviated way of saying oxidation reduction. And in this shortened version, I can't tell you why we reverse the order of oxidation and reduction, maybe just because it sounds better than ox red, which doesn't sound very good. Here is an example of a redox reaction. Two magnesium atoms reacting with oxygen gas to make two compounds of magnesium oxide. When you look at this reaction, it's really difficult to identify it as an oxidation reduction reaction. It's not easy to see that electrons are being transferred between the magnesium and the oxygen. It's also really difficult to see which direction the electrons are going. Is magnesium transferring electrons to the oxygen or vice versa? In order to make it easier for us as chemists to identify the actual transfer of electrons in a redox reaction, we have a special way of writing redox reactions. And this method is called writing the redox reactions as half reactions. In the half reaction method of writing a redox reaction, we do literally take this whole entire reaction and we just split it into two parts and divide it into half. One half of this reaction, or one of the half reactions, is the magnesium atoms being converted into the two magnesium ions that are part of the magnesium oxide compound. Magnesium being in group 2A on the periodic table has this charge of plus 2. In order for these two magnesium atoms to be converted into magnesium ions, the magne magnesium atoms have to lose electrons. Each one of these magnesium atoms is losing two electrons. We have a total of two magnesium atoms, which means that all together, they're losing a total of four electrons. So these four electrons are just being lost by the magnesium atom, allowing it to become an ion. And that's one of the half reactions. This particular half reaction is referred to as the oxidation part of the oxidation reduction reaction. The other half reaction is the oxygen molecule, O2, grabbing those four lost electrons and using those four lost electrons to convert to the oxide ions, O2 minus. So those four lost electrons are just picked up by the oxygen molecule. It allows that oxygen molecule to split in half, convert the atoms into the oxide ion, four electrons being spread out over those two atoms means that each one gets a negative two charge, which is, we know that that is consistent for oxygen because of where it's located on the periodic table. This half of the redox reaction is the reduction process. At this point, because this is just a very basic introduction to oxidation reduction, I don't expect you to be able to take a reaction like this and divide it up into half reactions. I'm actually going to teach you how to do that in a later video um, in actually quite a while. But I do want you to be able to look at a half reaction, see the location of the electrons, and identify the reaction as either oxidation or reduction. Whenever we have a redox reaction, we're always going to have a pair. One half reaction will always be an oxidation. The other half reaction will always be a reduction. We'll never have two oxidation reduction reactions together. We'll also never have two reduction reactions together. This is kind of like acid-base chemistry, where we have to have an acid reacting with a base. We can never have an acid with an acid or a base with a base. Those are impossible situations. So I'm going to show you a trick for identifying, if you're looking at a half reaction, um, how to identify whether that half reaction is oxidation or reduction. There's actually a lot of tricks out there that can help you identify oxidations versus reductions. The trick that I like the best is called oil rig. Oil rig is a mnemonic trick, which just means that it stands for something to help us remember. In the oil rig trick, the O stands for oxidation. Oil stands for oxidation is loss, specifically of electrons. And then in the rig part of it, R stands for reduction. Reduction is the gain of electrons. 
So oxidation is loss, reduction is gain. And when we talk about the gain of electrons versus the loss of electrons, this is always, for both of these, from the perspective of the reactants. And this is one of the things that confuses a lot of students uh, when we talk about losing electrons versus gaining electrons. Uh, it really depends on what perspective we're taking. So if we're looking from the perspective of the reactants, specifically, if we're looking at this um, from the perspective of magnesium, the magnesium reactant, is it losing electrons or is it gaining electrons? Magnesium is losing electrons, which means that it is an oxidation. From the perspective of the O2 reactant, O2 is adding itself to four electrons, so it is gaining those electrons, so the O2 is a reduction reaction. In the next video, I'm going to teach you about oxidation numbers, which is a trick, another trick that we use for identifying oxidation and reduction.